Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Happy versus Infi. This game taking place here on Tide Hunters 1.2. For all you eagle-eyed viewers out there, you will notice that hey, I do not have an overlay. Not quite sure what happened this morning, um, but I'm sure a restart on my computer would have fixed it. If I wasn't pressed for time, I would have. Anyways, you're gonna see some names that you recognize, Infi and Happy, but they are playing races that you are not familiar with. Well, where you maybe don't associate with them. Infi chose random and got orc. Same thing for Happy. So it is going to be an orc mirror match in random. As Happy opening things up with Altar of Storms. There's a burrow. There's a war mill. Looks like it is going to be far seer headhunters coming in from both sides. For all you guys out there, um, I am still fine. I'm still walking this earth. I made some comments about uh, getting my getting my fourth COVID shot, and there was concern, some concern about me. I am still alive and well, no adverse side effects so far, and I don't think I will be suffering any any ad adverse side effects. Um, yeah, don't want to get too political out there, as we are now getting um, into things. Um, well, once more. Farseer versus Farseer. It is going to be Headhunters. We'll see if we go to Tier 2 or Tier 3 based on how everything is, well, how everything will be develop in this matchup. As the War Mill, well, only one Orc Burrow, no Voodoo Lounge as of yet. And so far, both sides have very similar build orders. There is that additional Orc Burrow already being placed down here. We don't, oh, there it is, slightly coming in later from Infi. Man, but with all these COVID talks, you must feel invincible. Um, no, my, well, it's actually been about a year since my, since my booster shot or my, my third shot, I should say. So um, it is, it is about time. Um, got, got a shot for the Omicron variant. And so far, um, I, I know that it hyper activates my, my immune system. But from what I understand the, the side effects of the side effects even if i get covid supposedly i am supposed to get a milder case of it since my immune system is attack. prompted as opposed to well everything else anyways coming back around headhunters are going to engage resummoning some spirit wolves both sides are fighting back and forth low hit point spirit wolf quickly getting pulled back here infi spirit wolf going to get resummoned after dealing a little bit of damage to the farseer as we still don't see any voodoo lounge um um, at all. Blizzard, yes, is in fact updating the Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne, reforged version, and fixing some minor bugs. I don't know if we're expecting to see any um, upgrades on all of the, on any of the, on any of the artifacts or any of the art, and it seems like a lot of the things that they are upgrading are things that well, the the community has our or W3 champions has already put into place matchmaking things of that nature. Um, how Blizzard thought that they could release a game with um, a competitive real time strategy game without true matchmaking and a true ladder system um, seems to indicate that they didn't have a good grasp of what Warcraft Three was. Just it, well, it almost feels like Warcraft Three. I'm going to use this analogy. Warcraft Three is the older um older brother of world of warcraft and well world um, and the younger brother is just an absolute prodigy savant it, and really just took over the family making warcraft 3 um not not the the older ignored um, child here so the community at blizzard thought they knew what warcraft 3 was supposed to be higher artifacts higher art when in fact it needed to be a real-time strategy game not just a connection um not just another way to sell um software to players who tried to play a uh, world of warcraft who were interested in the story i hope they throw in a new map they probably update the footprints on existing maps maybe maybe all right Farce, you're going to come back around, try and engage against all of these Murlocs here. And Infi and, um, and Happy playing a very, very similar style game. Ring of Protection plus three now picked up. Farseer already up to eight armor. 
fairly well protected. Meanwhile, we are looking at Infi going after some difficult creep camps as well, using those spirit wolves effectively to try and absorb a bit of damage. Coming back through, you can see an illusion now going to come across inside there. That is just an illusion. They're going to exchange some blows. There goes one giant sea turtle. And now are we perhaps going to try and retreat back? No chain lightning level two. Oh, there's that chain lightning coming in from Happy trying to chain lightning across multiple headhunters as the Farseer is still looking to engage against some blows here. All right, Infi really wants to get level two Spirit Wolves happy, ha or sorry, level two chain lightning. Infi and, and Happy both with level two Spirit Wolves. And um, it's been a long time since um, I didn't actually know what level ability um, players were using. Coming back around, headhunters now making their way down. Tech to tier two shows a shadow hunter and a shadow hunter so Infi once again a little bit behind in terms of what's going on inside the base but overall well no has taken the lead in terms of upgrading the fortress and perhaps getting to those berserkers faster if there if for instance Infi is able to get the berserkers and engage against happy's um well headhunters for five or ten seconds that would be a very large a damage increase as well headhunters only have 375 hit points compared to the 475 of berserkers shadow hunter now out here onto the battlefield shadow hunter of infi now making his way over as well as both sides will be trying to engage all right illusion and just hanging around in the back right now you can see the wolves are trying to dive on in once more slow getting cast across those dire wolves both sides just trying to finish off some of those units here as we see a quick quick healing wave bouncing around to keep all of these headhunters alive. Farseer does have a potion of greater mana, and you can tell that the Farseer just really wants to get up to level four. Getting up to level four would open up level two spirit, uh, level two chain lightning, and once you have level two chain lightning, those headhunters could end up taking a lot more damage um, than expected. All right, coming back through, there's a quick hex there, scroll of speed, of trying to get that one. Well, uh, when one headhunter back and away, still racking up quite a bit of damage, we can see a potion of greater mana on Infi. Infi has not used that chain lightning as I expected he would. There he goes, and now still has that potion of greater mana if he wants to try to lob another chain lightning as well. That potion of greater mana could be the difference between victory and defeat here as the units are still exchanging back and forth. Farseer now looking to back away as he could have used that potion of greater mana, perhaps try to finish off two or three additional low hit point units. Good morning, Farseer now coming back around. Does have healing salve going on. Going to go ahead and try and engage. Are we going to see any sort of engagement there? There's a resummoning of the Spirit Wolves. There's a little bit of damage. A quick hex onto the Farseer. Farseer going to try and get a Chain Lightning off Scroll of Town Portal. Bouncing back around the other way. As we're going to see some Chain Lightning still bouncing there. However, it did take or get absorbed by the Null Overseer. One of those chains actually hitting the Null Overseer instead. Shadow Hunter saving his life by getting a hex off on the Farseer in time before the Chain Lightning was able to hit the ground. Coming back through both sides, continuing the fight. No Warden gonna, well, No Warden gonna get cleared up here. Shadow Hunter staying at level one. Infi has taken the supply lead and now looking to finish off this Storm Reaver Apprentice. All right, Berserker upgrade should be underway. There it is, nearly completed. Meanwhile, down here, Berserker upgrade not yet completed. It should be started. There it is. And this is going to really come down to Berserker upgrade on Infi with no Berserker upgrade on head on Happy. That is the case. Happy cannot afford to engage here if he hears the Berserkers and already ready to engage. All right, here we are getting ready to go. There's a couple, there's a purge there as the units are going to try and engage back. Happy knows that he can't truly engage in this position until he has Berserkers of his own. He's trying to back away, trying to threaten that he is going to have them online shortly as the Berserkers, well, going to go ahead and try and engage once more. Nope, they are not engaging still after all this time. And, well, just hanging back slightly. Infi. Well, Infi not attacking while the headhunters were still Berserker, missing a small window of opportunity to try and build on a lead. As we're now looking at Infi clearing out a relatively easy creep camp here. Um, that level 6 Murgle Marauder, that last unit to get taken out as the Torrent Chieftain out here on the battlefield. Torrent Chieftain with Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus 3 and Ring of Protection. Farseer now also with Healing Wards could easily, easily well prepare himself and for a follow-up battle healing wards although they are useful in combat 
are I find them more useful out of combat in a mirror match of Orc versus Orc as you're able to recharge faster than your opponent is. Farseer now trying to get away. There's a Chain Lightning followed by a Healing Wave trying to keep those units alive and well. And Torrent Chieftain now in that frontline spot. Endurance Aura, there's a Healing Ward being positioned all the way in the back and that is working out well as Infi finally, um, well, a Farseer or a purge finally goes down coming in from happy torrent chieftain with a potion of lesser and vulnerability both sides fighting potion of greater mana accidentally dropped shadow hunter picks it up and they're going to still try and perhaps heal themselves up once more that potion of greater mana if it was transferred over to um and happy would have been a great great loss infi now healing back up here easily farce so you're going to head back perhaps pick up some clarity potions or some additional items and be ready to get back into the fight here Level 4, level 2, level 1, Berserkers having Bloodlust, Endurance Aura, and also being able to get into that Frenzy for a faster attack speed. Happy vs. Infi, both are Orcs, what's going on? It was a random versus random ladder match. And well, random versus random, Infi is showing his strength here as the Torrent Chieftain also picks up a Ring of Regeneration. A powerful item indeed to keep that Torrent Chieftain topped off. He still needs a potion of lesser and vulnerability as the Torrent Chieftain of Happy walks up to the high ground here. Scroll of speed to try and get it for a tactical retreat now as the Farseer are getting ready to engage. Torrent Chieftain, does he have a potion? No, he does not. Thought he was buying a potion of lesser and vulnerability. Instead, going after a scroll of healing as the Berserkers are looking to engage here. They do have Bloodlust. 2-0 upgrades going up against 2-0 upgrades coming in from both sides as the Torrent Chieftain now heads on up to the high ground here to perhaps gain a little bit more exp um, a little bit more experience. Torrent Chieftain wants to throw down a stomp. There is a potion of lesser and vulnerability on Happies, and there is a stomp right there. Beautifully done, as both of them are going to try to engage up on that high ground here. Torrent Chieftain trying to stay using that high ground line of sight loss to lose the focus fire from all of those berserkers, and perhaps try and line up another stomp here in just a moment. All right, is that? Forest Troll going to get taken down. Yes, gives level 3 to the Shadow Hunter. Thought that was not going to be a very big deal on experience, but that level 3, now huge with level 2 healing wave on the table to help protect that Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain getting in a bit of heals as well. You can see that natural regeneration on a strength-based hero with all of that bonus strength and ring of regeneration adding quite a bit. There's a stomp, but a, a, the Hex was a split second too late. There's a stomp there again as Healing Wave still bouncing around. Berserkers with Frenzy, both sides trying to fight their way through near a mirror match as Chain Lightning now bouncing across here. Scroll of Healing still can be used. No, it's already been used. Torrent Chieftain down to 165, 107, 284. Healing Wave going to keep him alive as he's now trying to back up here. This Torrent Chieftain has a potion of lesser invulnerability. Hasn't used it as of yet as the Healing Wave comes down for the save. Torrent Chieftain now going to try to throw down a stomp. Both sides, those Torrent Chieftains, while well, doing their dance moves in sync and well, not affecting each other right there. If, if the radius was a little bit larger, perhaps would have worked. Torrent Chieftain healing, or healing Ward in the back quickly gets purged, but a little bit of extra healing available for Infi's army there. All right, that little bit of extra damage could have been enough. Torrent Chieftain now trying to lead the charge. Farseer gets a chain lightning off, but not enough to finish off more than, well, two units there. That perhaps could have been the difference. And that little bit of bounce not quite working out in about well, Infi's favor. All right, continuing to fight their way through. Torrent Chieftain wants to throw down another stomp. Should be able to do exactly that. Now going to try and back away. That ring of regeneration keeping him still topped off as there is another stomp right in the center here. Torrent Chieftain absorbing quite a bit of damage. They're going to need a force to retreat back out. Shadow Hunter and Farseer, everyone's pretty much out of mana as Happy is fighting next to his Voodoo Lounge. And that should give him a big advantage here. All right. Happy is in for at 43 supply. Torrent Chieftain gets taken down, and Infi starting to gain a big advantage here. Farseer looking to perhaps put in a little bit more pressure. Healing Wave as the Farseer says, you know what, I need to retreat back, and but you know I will be back for more soon. All three Healing Ward charges were already used. This is one of those opportunities or times where I, I would say Infi, if he had that healing ward, would be, or sorry, yeah, healing ward would be able to place it down and in 20 seconds be ready to push once more um, and really catch his opponent off guard. Now, what else is going on here? Infi's Torrent Chieftain just shy of level three, and you better believe he wants to get to level three before he um, does his one, his next push. Shadow Hunt or Torrent Chieftain actually not having a clarity potion 
I'm quite surprised by that. Are we going to get a oh, robe of magi? Big item on the Torrent Chieftain, but instead given to the Shadow Hunter for more heals once again. A Torrent Chieftain down to about 90 mana now. We'll have enough for one single stomp, but the healing waves should be enough for the Shadow Hunter to keep things going for a while. Scroll of Healing now on Infi. Infi is going to go in for the follow up, follow up kill. No Death Coil, Frost, no the shenanigans coming across from Happy to try and, well, win with just his heroes. Farseer are going to engage here. Torrent Chieftain back out here onto the battlefield, but, well, no army to try and support. Level 3 Shadow Wolves out here onto the battlefield as well as the Torrent Chieftain looks to remove the home field advantage of this Voodoo Lounge. Once this shop is gone, no more easy access to mana pots or health pots as the Torrent Chieftain now trying to make its way back over. All right. That Shadow Wolf wants to run away, doesn't want to give it free experience. There's a quick hex onto the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain, well, is he able to break free? Yes, able to dodge that um, that stomp right there as the Torrent Chieftain misses and doesn't really stun anything at all. Infi continuing this push on in here. Torrent Chieftain gets a stomp here, absorbing a little bit of damage, but that's going to be far too much. Infi comes away with the win after stalling a happy's torrent chieftain keeping him at level two while getting to level three even though infi was unable to land a, an efficient level two stomp his army supply in the end was still large enough to and, and more and too difficult for happy to overcome thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it